look psychotic right now, but that was kind of the plan. It is Friday the 13th as you are watching this, so happy Friday the 13th because, no, oh, I don't even know. It's kind of a fail, but I miss Halloween so much and like I just, I hate the month of January. I hate it. It's the most depressing month ever. Like there's no holiday. <laughs> it's just the snow is melting. It's all slushy. It's just so gloomy out. I cannot stand January, so I thought, you know, it's Friday the 13th as you're watching this. Why not make it fun? Anyways, I was trying to be Jason, so I have my Jason jersey on since I am very good friends with Jason. Very good friends. And I don't know, I just wanted to wear my jersey. I was trying to look psychotic because I'm telling a very psychotic urban legend today. So I just thought I would kind of go with it. So I mean, it's kind of like Brittany Ween is back just for today. So I hope you guys think this is fun because I think it's fun. But today's urban legend is called Hatchet House. So I don't have a hatchet, I have a machete. <laughs> so anyways guys, let's get right on into the urban legend. So this urban legend is called Hatchet House. And it's all about a murder that took place on a street in Oklahoma City. And it was the murder of a young girl. There is supposedly a street in Oklahoma City known as Carrie Place. The little girl that was murdered, her name was Carrie. And people say to this day, they have seen Carrie's ghost walking along that street or even playing. So this story starts in the late 1950s. One day after school, Carrie wanted to stay to play on the schoolyard swings. She enjoyed swinging, she just wanted to stay there, you know, think about life, you know, she just enjoyed swinging. It was something that she just loved to do. All of a sudden, this crazed man came out of nowhere with an axe and he was approaching Carrie. Like I said, this is not an axe, it's a machete, but you guys know, like, I'm trying to be Jason even though it's not Jason. <laughs> hope this video does well, <laughs> honestly. The crazy man, he was approaching Carrie and luckily she got away and she was screaming as she was running down the street. Carrie was running like crazy, screaming for help, going door to door, pounding on the doors and windows, trying to get everybody's attention to let them know that there's some crazy man out here with an ax trying to kill her. And you know what these neighbors did? They were so scared to come out of their houses because, you know, according to the story, it didn't say that they saw the crazed man, but it says that they were too scared to open the door because I guess they just kept hearing all this pounding on their doors and windows and they didn't know what to do. Maybe they thought somebody was trying to break in. Maybe they saw the crazy man out on the street with his axe just running, but still, it's a little girl. You could at least call 911 if you saw the guy, but apparently they did not do that. So Carrie is just screaming. She is just terrified. Every time she turns around, she sees this man with an axe. He's still following her. She's pounding on all the doors and windows in this neighborhood and nobody will answer her. Finally, she gets to her house, but it's too late because the man with the axe he was right there at her house. Like he caught her as soon as she hit her property. He was right behind her. Carrie was murdered on her front porch. And it's so sick because this crazed man, he chopped up her body and put all of her remains in the flower pot that was sitting on her front porch. According to legend, Carrie's front porch was just covered, drenched in so much blood, no matter how many times her parents, and once again, like her parents tried cleaning up the blood, like, why were they cleaning up the blood? But that's what it said. No matter, how, well, I guess maybe after, like, it was all cleaned up, and I guess, like, when months went on, they were trying to clean it up. But no matter how many times they tried scrubbing away the blood, there were still blood stains everywhere. The blood would just not go away. But you want to hear something that's really creepy. So the morning after the murder happened, all the neighbors, like, the Every single neighbor that Carrie ran to to pound on their doors and windows, they never opened the door for her. Like, once again, I will never understand why, but they never opened the door. But when they walked out of their houses that morning, they noticed that all of their porches were painted red. It is believed that the ghost of Carrie painted everybody's porch red 
to let them know that it's their fault that she's dead. She wants them all to feel so guilty for not opening up their door to save her from this crazy person. Apparently to this day, people that go by the house where the murder happened, they say that it's very eerie. You get this very eerie, creepy feeling. Some people have heard Carrie screams. Apparently the front shutters and the windows, they're all carved out to look like hatchets. The shutter thing, that is, that's really creepy. But every Halloween, kids will go to that street trying to look for the hatchet house, seeing the shutters carved out like hatchets, and they'll go door to door down that street, and instead of saying trick or treat, like on Halloween, they'll say, can little Carrie come out to play? So that is the end of the urban legend known as Hatchet House. It's so sickening and just so gruesome, and the neighbors, I am so mad at them and so disappointed that they wouldn't even open the door. When you hear someone banging on your door like that, screaming for help, it didn't even say that they saw like, did they even see the man? I don't think they did, so why didn't they open the door? But, you know, waking up the next morning and everybody has their porch painted red, that is so creepy, but they believe that it is the ghost of Carrie, and she's so mad, and she wants them to feel guilty. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my little, my little crisis I'm having. I'm just missing Halloween like crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you rock my world. And the song lyrics from Michael Jackson. It's kind of hard to do that that right there. I'll put it down for my hashtags. Hashtag team, pretty 44. Hashtag Marilla Renz. Hey. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.